or welcome to my youtube channel if you are just seeing me kina buffet for the very first time you're highly welcome here on buffet show we are all about african food environment and lifestyle and to be a huge part of the buffet's family just hit the subscribe button and the bell beside of it so you get notified whenever i upload a new video today i'm in the kitchen and i'll be preparing one simple meal I, i'm sure someone will be like what's that yes i'm going to be preparing indomie Indomie. We know that Nigerian kids love Indomie. Let me not say African kids because I, I can't generalize it. But in Nigeria, kids love Indomie, even adults. And one thing that is very paramount is the way you prepare your Indomie and how it comes out, you know, so it can be appetizing to the kid. So let me show you how my sister, thank you so much, sister, for teaching me this method. This method is just the best. Simply the best so let me show you how she taught me let's go into the ingredients now for the things i'll be using for this video i'll be making use of onion chicken flavor and then please this is not a paid advert i just love the flavor of this indomie this particular one i don't cook indomie if it's not this flavor and then i have my granite oil you can use any oil of your choice i don't know of palm oil you can give it a try and then my water i also have my bowl of vegetables i have onion very important you can't exempt it from this recipe i have tomatoes you see tomatoes and onion is the main main uh, vegetable for this recipe you can omit carrots uh, bell peppers definitely you need your pepper you can use dried pepper but please you can't omit onion and tomatoes okay so i have my onion i have my tomatoes i have my red scotch bonnet pepper i have my yellow scotch bonnet pepper i have my yellow bell pepper and i also have my green bell pepper and my carrots i also have garlic you know it's very important then i egg i love eggs if you don't mind you can reduce the quantity of your egg or add more i will be making use of one two three four five six eggs and then these are just for shop, uh, chopping the vegetables so let's start chopping our vegetables so we go into the cooking process i'm so hungry <laughs> okay this is my onion i'll be using one onion for frying the base of the sauce for this indomie and i'll be using the other bowl for garnishing so I'm cutting the one for frying. There is a belief that any onion that hurts your eyes is a good one. What do you think about that? Is that true? I don't know, but just makes me uncomfortable in the kitchen when the onion hurts my eyes and the said is also good for the eyes though i love 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 to chop vegetables especially when they are colorful the colors give me joy you can make yours more bigger than mine it all depends on what you love okay i just feel like going for this so you can make yours bigger or smaller i think this is even small enough Can you see the colors? This is what I actually love with vegetables. The colors. That's all. Apart from the nutrients that they have to offer. Okay, let's go into the tomatoes. When I'm using tomatoes for this recipe, I divide it 
into two this way in a circular form and then I extract the juice and the tomatoes. I don't need that water. Okay. I cut it the same way I cut the carrots and the bell peppers and also the onion. That's the same way I'm cutting the tomatoes. You mustn't use the same quantity of pepper that I'm using. You can use less or more depending on how you can take pepper. For me, I love pepper and I know some people love pepper more than I do. And you can also substitute this with dry pepper. Okay. Substitute this for dry pepper. So this is the onion I'll be using for garnishing. And this is how we are slicing this one. I love mixing my egg to foam, to foam a bit. I don't know why, but I love it. Look at that. That's what I love seeing. Okay, so let's begin the cooking process. So I have my meat frying pan over here. And then I'm going to add my vegetable oil. See? You should respect my frying pan. When you see a frying pan like this, you know that this frying pan has hustled in life. You understand? <laughs> okay, I'm going to add enough to fry my vegetable. I really need enough. Yeah, so this is okay. So I'm putting on my gas. I'll let the oil heat up a bit. I can see my oil is hot from the onion I've dropped in the sizzle. Yes, that's it. When you start perceiving the flavor of the onion, you now add your chopped tomatoes. At this point, you reduce your heat to medium low. Okay? Reduce it to medium low and cover your meat. So, this has been simmering. And I'm actually doing this to extract the water from the tomatoes to dry it up. Okay? So I'll be adding my chopped garlic and chopped pepper at this point. Stir. And I'll cover the lid again for the remaining water to dry up.
by now the water must have dried up. Yes. Water from the tomato is dried up. So the next thing we'll add, but before we add the egg, make sure your heat is on low, very low. Yes. Because we don't want this to burn. So we are now adding our egg. mix the sauce with the egg together and then we cover our lid and allow this to simmer and cook okay so this is it you can see it's cooking so I'm just going to turn it so the other side cooks. Okay, I think our egg is ready. So if you notice your pan is getting burnt, you just have to use your spatula to scrape the under this way and that's because I'm using that's because I'm not using a non stick pan okay now this is where someone will say what I'm now adding a little bit of water first and then I have my indomie. If you like your indomie to be, you know, whole, you can just put it that way. But I don't like it that way. I love breaking it into four equal parts. Then the second indomie. No, this is the spice that is inside. It has oil and then the normal spice. At this point, I'll equally add my oil. I'll be adding the oil from the two indomie and then the pepper. I add all my pepper or my spice but if you don't just use it the way you do maybe you add one you don't like too much of it but I do add all and then I stir I mix all of the sauce and the indomie together now I know my water is small. Let me tell you one trick with this type of indomie. You don't have to add a lot of water. Okay. So now I'm adding my water. I don't have measurements. I just know that my water don't have to be on the same level with my indomie. Okay. If you add too much water, your indomie will become more shaped like at the end of the day like when you're done you won't have a presentable indomie make sure you coat every indomie at this point my indomie is thoroughly coated with the sauce and i know my water is not enough let's check it out can you see i'm virtually not having water in this indomie so here's what i do just add making sure see where the water level is that's fine for now it's best not to add a lot of water than to add excess water 
because you can always correct it if the water is is little. At this point, you reduce your heat again to medium low. Okay, and you let this cook. We'll be right back. I just feel like taking this indomie with fried plantain. So, on the other side of the gas, I'm frying my plantain. So let's check our indomie. Okay, what you do on intervals, see our water is drying up. What you do on intervals is that you gently stir, okay? So the ones on top goes down and the ones down comes up. This is just to mix the indomie perfectly well. As I said earlier, it's best to add little water than to add excess water. So now my water is dried up, as you can see. I need more of the water because the indomie is not well cooked. So I'll be adding just a little bit of water. Just a little. That's okay. Still on medium low. So our plantain is ready. Yeah, so this is our indomie. I think our indomie is ready. Yes. See guys, this is it. It's ready. You can eat it like this. And trust me, it's very delicious. Very, very delicious. I'll tell you why this indomie is very delicious. So at this stage, I'm going to be adding my vegetables. I'll be, I'll be adding my carrots. If you want your carrots to be softer, you can add it much more earlier than now. Okay? So it will be much more softer than being just crunchy. So I'll cover it a bit. So I've left the carrots and the indomie for like 30 seconds just to soften the carrot just a bit because I love it crunchy and then I'll add the rest of the vegetables. Guys, how does this look like? <laughs> oh! Just a bit of our onion first, and then you stir. When you're stirring, you stir from the meat. Okay? Isn't this beautiful, guys? Just look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So let's do the rest of the garnishing. This is sumptuous. Some sumptuous. I love it. Our indomie is ready. Guys, you're welcome. Come and eat. Once I didn't call you. Let me tell you 
let me tell you the unique thing about this indomie because you have to boil the indomie with the sauce the spices and flavor from the sauce gets to penetrate into the indomie very well so you get to have that sweet unique tasty indomie the sauce is not just on top of the indomie that's penetrated into the indomie or inside the indomie but let's try this out i'm not joking you you don't need to add the vegetables i added like for the garnishing just the egg tomatoes and onion is perfect that is how i prepare it whenever i don't have the vegetables to garnish it and trust me you'll thank me later in case you do not know Bayfair show is all about african food environment and lifestyle and today i did enjoy this episode because i love it <laughs> i know this for the fact that you are here you love eating too thank you so much for watching i'll be back with more of african food environment and lifestyle bye